I want to see how much money I can make in one week of flipping computers. So this challenge is starting on Sunday, December 12th, which is today, obviously, and will end next week on the next Sunday, which is December 19th. Throughout this challenge, I'm going to be documenting each day. So I'll go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then it'll end on Sunday, obviously. So yeah, get your truths ready, sit back and enjoy the video. So today it's about midday. It is 2.26 p.m. in the afternoon. I have a couple things planned today. Well, not really a couple, just one thing. I'm just building one computer, gonna list it, and that'll give me four computers listed to start the week off. But I might be getting a sell in later today. Starting us off, the main specs of the computer, we're gonna start with the CPU, GPU, and basically just RAM. So RAM is just gonna be 16 gigabytes. The GPUs that I'm gonna be using, I've been using them in a couple flips. I've gotten quite a few. I don't know if you can see them, but they're the 1070s right there, right behind me. Uh, the video is right here up on the screen. You guys can watch it after, it'll also be linked down below. But those I got for 185 each, so we're going to be using a 1070, 16 gigs of RAM. And for the CPU, we're going with the infamous Ryzen 3 3300X. It is still brand new sealed, and I want to give a huge shout out to Shane is Epic. This is the part that he sent me over, and he just said, do whatever you want with it. So we're going to be using it in this little video here. Once again, a huge shout out to Shane is Epic for sending that Ryzen 3 over. Anyways, let's just go over all the other parts real quick, and then let's get right into the build. Are you a PC flipper or someone that just recently built their first PC and you want to save a little extra cash? Thanks to today's video sponsor, Super CDK, they are making it super easy to save money on a legitimate Windows 10 license for any of your PCs. Head over to supercdk.com, it'll be linked down below. Once you get there, find your desired Windows 10 license and use the discount code SPLA for 30% off. Once you receive your key, head over to your activation settings, select change product key, type in your key and hit activate. Bam, just like that, you activated Windows and saved money. Thanks to Super CDK for sponsoring today's video. The links are down in the description and don't forget to use discount code SPLA for 30% off your order. So I already went over the CPU, but it is the Ryzen 3 3300X, which is a four core, eight threaded processor with a base speed of 3.8 gigahertz. Basically, it's a pretty fast quad core. Pairing with the CPU is the motherboard. I'm gonna be using a Gigabyte B450M DS3H, which is the micro ATX board, and I got it for $40. The RAM is honestly super good for this build and especially a good pair for Ryzen. It is an Oloid kit of 2x8GB clocked at 3600MHz for a total of 16GB. The GPU, as I said, it is a GTX 1070. More specifically, it is a Gigabyte G1 gaming model with 8GB of VRAM. And more importantly, it has RGB on it. For storage, I'm keeping it basic. I'm using an ADATA 240GB SSD and a 1TB hard drive as usual. The power supply is also something I use a lot and it is a unit from EVGA that I got on B-Stock. The case I'm going to be using is a nice white case from DIY PC. The name is a bit weird but it is nice and I'll have it linked down below. <laughs> Jeez, this case had a fun time shipping here. The hard drive case is just flying around here. Hope, Good thing the glass wasn't cracked or anything. Cooling the CPU and tying the build together is the Vetro V5 in white. Now, let's build this thing. Thank you. 
Alrighty, it is now 326. It's still the same day I just took off my hoodie. I was getting a little bit hot, but the build is done. Let's plug it in, see if it turns on first try. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah, you can see that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, I'm gonna test this thing out, do a bit of cable management because uh, the cable clutter, it's a bit mess in the back. I haven't touched it at all. I just barely got done building it and wanted to see if it worked. So I'm gonna test it out, take a few pictures, and then we will get this thing listed. The PC is done. Overall, it was super easy to build. If you can't tell already, it is different than before. I added some highly needed aesthetic upgrades. I added two 120 millimeter ARGB fans that hook up to the included fan and RGB controller with the case. Total cost of this build was $406.71. I looked up all the pricing on eBay and I got a total of $895. I don't really want to price a Ryzen 3 build at $900, so I'm going to list it at $850 which still leaves pretty good room for profit. Okay, sorry for the bad quality. I'm on my phone right here, but uh, I just got done installing windows on this PC and uh, that person came faster than I thought. They are here right now. So I'm taking this keyboard and mouse and I'm setting up the computer in my living room. Okay, here it is. The system is an i7-3770K, 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 960. I don't think I'll be able to record for you guys because uh, I lost my little, my little camera tripod thingy that I used to record, not a tripod. But I would stick my camera in the corner. But as you see, I got a Christmas tree, so I don't know if I can record. But just believe me that I'm actually selling it. A few moments later. Oh, alrighty, just got done with the sell. Like I said, I couldn't really record, but uh, another successful sell in the bag. First day of this week, I mean, I'd say it's going pretty good. So I had the PC listed at 550, and the guy was asking if I was pretty firm on it. I was like, eh, I'm kind of firm, but go ahead and throw an offer. And he offered 500. I said, I'll do 525 if you can get it today. So he accepted 525, where you read on that price. <laughs> and then when he came here, he ended up giving me 550. He's like, the ATM was being stupid. I was like, man, I can give you change. He's like, no, I'll just throw in the 50. So I actually got asking price on this PC, so that's pretty awesome. I'll have the price breakdown up on the screen right now with like the profit margin and everything. I don't know what off the top of my head because I'm not a damn calculator. But anyways, I never got a chance to finish this PC. He came right away. So let's test this out and then I'll take pictures and get it listed. These are the pictures I'm going to be using for the ad. Let me know what you think of this build down below. I think it turned out super clean and I'm super happy with it. So the first PC that I just got done building is already all packaged up. Yesterday, or a couple days ago, I got this PC though. It's a tiny little PC with an i5 6500, I believe, and a 1050 Ti, as you can see here. In this really tiny case, I mean, here's my hand for reference. I don't have huge hands, but um, yeah, it's pretty tiny. No RGB, so uh, as you guys can guess, it won't sell as good. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna prep this for a build. So I'm gonna take it apart. Uh, I don't have much cases left, but I have a case I can throw this in and then maybe get this listed tomorrow or maybe tonight, who knows. Before I take it apart though, I am gonna dust it out. I'm outside right now and uh, yeah, it's pitch black. But yeah, it's not super dusty, but I'm just gonna blow it down with my little air duster here to get like any big clumps of dust out so I don't get them in my room. Alrighty, I'm just working on getting the GPU uninstalled and then I'll just do the rest off of camera. Yeah, when I was dusting it outside though, there was like no dust, so <laughs> that's always a plus. So cleaning these parts should be fine because as you guys know, I repaste my CPU and GPU in all of the flips I do just to give me that like peace of mind that like my parts won't overheat. Bam, now it is out of the case. 1050 Ti, four gigs of VRAM, and has three display ports. Uh, well, not display ports, but uh, like, you know what I mean? It has a DVI, HDMI, and a display port right there. Looks pretty clean. Now, Let's take apart the rest of the build. Alrighty, I just got done taking apart. Here's all the parts. As I said, it has an i5-6500. I'm pretty sure it's a quad core, oh, a 6400. I'm pretty sure it's just a quad core CPU, but eh, it's a bit newer. It's supporting DDR4 RAM. And the RAM is one single stick of eight gigabytes of its HyperX Fury. I'm not sure on the speed of this, but who really cares because I don't. And then cool in the little quad core here. It's a Cooler Master Hyper 212. I think it's the black edition, but I'm not really sure. I've never really used a Hyper 212, but yeah, we got that for the CPU cooler. And the GPU, it's obviously the EVGA GTX 1050 Ti 4 gigabyte version and a two fan model. Looks pretty clean. The only storage drive is the Samsung 860 Evo 250 gigabyte SSD. I'm happy it came with an SSD and not just a hard drive though. And then power in the rig is an older unit from EVGA. It's a 600 watt 80 plus white. 
and with ketchup and mustard cables which is kind of weird because i had a hot dog today with ketchup and mustard so coincidence mm, maybe i'm gonna be adding a seagate one terabyte hard drive for mass storage because it only has the ssd and that's just not enough storage so we got a one terabyte spinning mechanical hard drive and then for the case it's an easy gaming i'm not sure the exact name of it but it's an rgb case it's atx size and it's black i'll have it up on the screen right now but anyways let's build before I build the PC, let's take apart this little GPU here and apply some fresh thermal paste. Broke that little seal, oh well. Alrighty, let's open this thing up. Oh, and oh, there we go. Oh wow, actually this thermal paste is still pretty wet. Eh, since I'm in here though, might as well just wipe it off. Now, time for my favorite snack, which is Arctic MX4. Screwing this baby back together. I love taking apart GPUs, especially when they only have four screws like this ones. I hate taking apart Founders Edition though. They have like, well, like 30 damn, not 30, but they have a ton. This one's simple, just four. And I can't get that one on. But yeah, I'll fix that one. But GPU is done. Let's build. Whew. All right, the build is finally done. Let's see if it turns on. I already have it plugged in. I flipped the power switch. One, two, three. Bam! There we go. So this case, it comes with a RGB fan and a RGB strip in the front, but the RGB fan is normally in the back, but I just swapped it to be on the Cooler Master Cooler, so it looks a bit cooler. <laughs> yeah, and it's only 7.30, so uh, screw it. Let's test this one out and get it listed tonight. Okay, so I'm stress testing this PC right now. I'm not sure if you can hear the heaven benchmark in the background, but it's just running through a benchmark cycle just so I know it works. I've reduced my uh, testing process. Instead of downloading and installing a bunch of games, which eats up a bunch of my time, I just let heaven run for a few hours and then I'm like, PC works. Anyways, the total cost for this computer was around $360. Of course, I'll have the full parts list up on the screen right now as I speak. But I looked up the prices on eBay and it was around 500 bucks. So I just added 550 and that's going to be my listing price or I'll probably go as low as maybe 525. So yeah, I'm gonna list this PC. That's two PCs listed today. One sold today. So far we've made around 200 bucks in just one day and have two other PCs listed. If anything interesting happens tomorrow, I'll pick up the camera. The next day. Ooh, alrighty. <laughs> I am back. It is Monday now. It is 12.32 in the afternoon. Kind of a late start. Not really a late start. This is, I'm just starting today. I'm currently starting to edit the video so I can stay on track of it and upload it on Monday as well. But today I don't really have much planned. We ended last night off with two PCs listed and we sold one. I've gotten a few messages on one of them. He wants to come around like six or seven and then there may be someone else, but I'm not completely sure. All I know though is I'm running out of parts. I only have one case left so yeah i'm gonna edit and also look for parts like online like brand new cases that i can buy and hopefully they get here during this week because i have a lot of builds planned i just don't have the cases okay so i just got editing and i was about to check out on newig i got like two extra cases in my cart i'm getting more but that's just what i was gonna buy right now but then i noticed my cart has a total of 916 dollars and as you can see right there that is a 3060 Ti, ladies and gents. <laughs> I got selected for the new egg shuffle. I actually won something that's actually valuable. And I may purchase this. I mean, why wouldn't I, right? I mean, that's a high-end flip right there. I have a 3060 Ti. Sir, it's $751, but then you get a B550 motherboard. I could do like a high-end Ryzen build. So, I'm going to buy it. Okay, so I just ordered that 3060 Ti. Pretty excited about that. Also, this one guy texted me about a PC, the one that I listed last night, the Ryzen 3 and the GTX 1070. He asked me to install Warzone to see like how it runs. And normally I don't want to install games just because it takes, it doesn't take super long to install games, but it takes a while to install games just for them to test it out and then maybe not even buy it. But he's bought in a PC from me before in the past and he said he'll probably buy it if he tests it out and just see how it runs. So I'm just hoping he's going to buy it and I'm not just going to waste my time. So I'm going to install Warzone and then he's going to come and check it out. So that guy did say he was gonna come around four, but then of course, hey man, it's gonna be later than four. Just wasting my damn time. So if he does come, I hope he buys it, or I'm just gonna be like, what the hell, dude? Alrighty, that guy just got here. Let's turn on the PC. See you in a minute. So did you sell the other one? Uh, not yet. Oh, I have had a few people text me, but. Well, at least when you sell your PC, you'll recoup some of the costs. Ladies and gents, 
We got 850 cash. So yeah, it sold for asking price. So yesterday, yesterday was, was quite a fun day. It was kind of slow. We didn't build any PCs, but that's about to change today. Yesterday was fun though, as I was saying. We ended up spending almost a thousand dollars because we got a 36 ETI, so I'm super happy about that. But then we also made $400, more than $400 in just one day. So I'd say that's a pretty good day. And as I said, building PCs is changing today. Oh, you can't really see, but I'm building two today. So as I said, we are going to be building two PCs today. The first one is using a fourth gen i5. It is an i5-4590, and I want to give a huge shout out to Animal for sending this to me. I'm pairing it with an HP motherboard that I got off of eBay. I bought four of them, and they came out to $32.64 each. For the GPU, I'm going to be using a Gigabyte RX 560, it's the 4 gigabyte version. Then of course, the basics like 16 gigs of RAM, SSD, and a hard drive. The second PC is a little more hefty. It is rocking the i7-3770K with 16 gigs of RAM as well, but the GPU is stronger. I'm using the EVGA GTX 1060, 6 gigabyte version. Both of these PCs are going to be getting brand new power supplies from EVGA. One is 500 watts and the other is 450. I will be applying fresh thermal paste to the CPUs and both of the GPUs. I already cleaned the RX 560 off camera though. I'm using the last two cases I have available so my options are limited. Anyways, let's finish up these builds. A few moments later. Alrighty. I've been trying to build this one PC up, the one that I'm using, the HP motherboard with the 4th Gen i5 and the RX 560, and I just can't get it to post. I mean, I know the motherboard, everything works. I tested the motherboards when they got here today. Everything works, but it just keeps throwing F1 errors, and I just don't like selling PCs saying, oh, I have to press F1 on boot up. And this one, I just looked and the USB 2 connector is proprietary. So really only one USB 3 port on this case is gonna work. I just don't wanna be like, yeah, you have to press F1 and the front USB ports don't work. Like, I don't know, that's just, I just don't feel like selling it like that. So I'm gonna contact the seller and see if I can return these. Hopefully I can, because if I can't, then I just have four motherboards that I won't use and it costs like $142. Alrighty, let's install the GPU. Hopefully this PC actually works. I don't see why it wouldn't. Plug in the DisplayPort cable, plug in the PC, and then I'll give you guys a view of the monitor. Okay, so it's just right there. One, two, three. Okay, the PC looks good. I know you guys can't see it. You'll see it in just a minute, please. Oh, let's go, finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. That last PC that wasn't working kind of made me mad, not gonna lie, I wanted it to work. So I'm happy that this one's working. Now let's just test it out. The PC is done. I'm super happy this one actually worked out. This Montec case is actually pretty good value for the money. Let me know your thoughts on the build down below. The total cost was $287.68. For just under $300, this PC is providing awesome price to performance and should grant a great profit. Alrighty, so I'm about to list this computer. I'm gonna list it at $700 and that leaves pretty good room for profit. The pictures that you're seeing up on the screen right now are the ones I'm gonna be using for the listing. I do have a plan for that first computer that I couldn't get working, but I just got notified that I got a package at my PO box. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I'll come back and work on the other PC. One eternity later. I just got the little package here. It is a little one, but let's open it up and see what we got. Hey, we got some foam. Nah, but really don't. Okay, here, here's what's in here. With the CPU, we got an i5-4690K. And we got some little memory here. It is a Corsair kit. Look, it's a third, originally a 32 gigabyte kit, but it's a 16 gigabyte kit. It's just two sticks. It's clocked at 1600 megahertz. 
This is some pretty nice DDR3 stuff. Anyways, if you guys want to know who sent me this, it was Animal once again. Show some love to him in the Discord. I'm not sure if he comments on videos. I haven't really seen him, but he's in Discord. Just tag him at Animal and just say, yo, thank you, man. And if you can't, then join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. But yeah, thank you, Animal, for sending those parts out. Now let's talk about my plan. If you can see the PC, the motherboard is already out, and that is because the seller uh, like accepted my return request. So I already took it apart, and I'm going to return those motherboards tomorrow. So my plan is to upgrade the CPU. Kind of downgrade, but upgrade at the same time because it's a generation older. But we're going to be going with an i7-3770K and 16 gigs of RAM, just like the first PC. And then instead of the RX 560, we're going to be using an RX 570. So let's get building. So I was just getting Windows installed on this PC and I was like cleaning up my little building area, like putting leftover screws away. Take a look at this. Oh, look what just happened. Oh my goodness. This was full of fan screws and radiator screws. And uh, yeah, I just dropped it. Do you ever just want to go to sleep and restart the whole day? Cause that's what I want to do right now. Ooh, finally the PC is done and I picked up my mess. I'm stress testing out right now, running just heaven benchmark. The total cost was around $331. I think that was the exact total cost, but I'll have the price breakdown up on the screen. I've decided to list at $625, and that leaves around almost enough room for $300 profit. So for only being the third day into this flipping for a week challenge or whatever you want to call it, I would say it is going pretty good. But now I'm going to list this PC, and then that'll be two PCs listed today. <sighs> But you guys know what time it is after you list PC. It's waiting game time. Once upon a time, there was a power outage. Ah! It's just me. But yeah, the power is out. But uh, don't worry, the PCs are still safe. We're just chilling in here. We got Arrow and the girlfriend and no power. Say hi, Arrow. Yeah, he's just trying to bite me. Well, we got power and we got something else. Yeah, we got a good amount of snow. It's already all plowed, but um, you guys can look. Here, let me step out. Look, bunch of snow. Hopefully we sell some more PCs today, but who knows? Sometime last month, I picked up this PC right here for $50 and it had a 1050 Ti in like an older AMD CPU. So I swapped out the 1050 Ti here and just valued this at $50 and that left the rest of the PC and all the other components just basically for free. It also had a pretty hefty 750 watt 80 plus bronze power supply that I knew was pretty powerful for this PC. So I swapped it out for an Antec 430 watt but it still has an 80 plus rate. The total cost of this PC was around $60 because I only had to pay for the GPU since all the other components were free. I looked up all the prices on eBay and it tallied around 280 bucks and I don't really want to price it too much higher than that because it's not a super powerful system so I don't want to charge too much. So I'm just going to list it at 280 and that'll be getting posted today. So this video is already pretty long and we still have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to go for this flipping for a week challenge. So I'm going to split this video up into two parts. I'm sorry if you guys didn't want that. So far, we've made almost 600 bucks just in a few days, and that was all profit. If you guys want to see part two of this challenge, then smash like button. I want to hit 200 likes and then I'll drop part two. Anyways, smash like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.